Hello everyone, I'm Sam from Language Atlas and in this video I'm going to explain to you what the French A1 Verbs Pro deck is and how you can use it. So let's get started. The first step is very simple. You double click on French A1 Verbs Pro and after you've double clicked it, Anki opens up the file. Now I'll put a copy of the file uh, a copy of the file in the comment section and in the video description as well so you know where you can find it. Now you click on close and we maximize Anki. In front of you you see the French A1 Verbs Pro deck and you see a lot of other decks as well and I'd like to say a bit about the content of it. Now you see a bunch of subdecks and the first subdeck you see is French A1 Important Irregular Verbs. Now this deck contains as the name suggests, all the important irregular verbs that you need to know at A1 level. For example, aller, avoir, être, and all the other important irregular verbs. Now moving on, we can see that we have the French A1 reflexive verbs in present tense. Now this deck explains how to use reflexive verbs, how to conjugate them, and it has three decks dedicated to the most important reflexive verbs that a1 level. The third subdeck is verbs in time. Now this deck shows you how to use the different tenses that you need to know at A1. Think of le futur proche, le passé récent, and the most important one, le présent. Then we see the following three subdecks: ER verbs, IR verbs, and RE verbs. Now these three decks explain how to use the main three verb groups in French. Now for example in the ER verbs you see regular ER verbs which is um, the group that has the most verbs in French but you also see some exceptions to the rules such as ER verbs and the constant ER verbs and all of the other groups. And the same is true for all of the other ones. Now um, I'd like to say a few things about uh, the following. Over here you see the header new and then you see the header do. Now what do they mean? Now the new means that any time you practice an Anki deck or you have an Anki session, the maximum amount of new cards that you will see is 20. For example, now for do, you see that there's a zero. Now do means reviews, the amount of reviews that you have per session. Now normally there'd be a number here as well, but as this is the first time that we have opened this file, it is zero. Now, if you want to change this, it's very simple. You click on this icon over here, and then we go to options. Now, you can see that for new cards per day, it's currently at 20. We can change this to, let's say, 22 or 23, 24, 25, doesn't matter. And then we can go to reviews. You can see there's a maximum review of 150 a day. We can change this to whatever we want. You can do 130, for example. Now, over here, you see a very important message. Your changes will affect multiple decks, so please be aware of this. And we can see here 25. Uh, some have 24, as that's the maximum amount of cards in a deck. Others have more, but 25 is the maximum. Uh, now I'd like to show you what it's actually like to use it. So let's get started. If you click on French A1 Verbs Pro, you will have cards from all of the decks available. If you click on French A1 Important Irregular Verbs, you will have cards from only that specific deck. And if you want, you can also practice a certain sub-subdeck, which we will do now. So take, for example, Avoir. You click on that. And you can see here uh, the largest deck, French A1 Verbs Pro, the subdeck, which is the irregular verbs, and then the sub-subdeck, which is Avoir. You can see that we have 25 new maximum and learning and review zero as this is the first time that we have done this. Click on study now. And we see this. We have a French sentence with a gap. Then we have avoir, which is a French infinitive. And then we have the English translation. Now your job is to be able to know how to conjugate avoir. And the correct answer is A. Elle a une sœur. Click on space. Elle a une sœur. Perfect. Elle a une sœur. Taking a look at the back side, we can see avoir conjugation table. There's all the different ways to conjugate avoir. It has the usage of avoir, which 
explains to you how avoir should be used. And then we have pronunciation of avoir. Uh, and this part explains how avoir should be pronounced. Finally, if you want to hear it again, you can click on this icon. Elle a une sœur. Or you can press R. Elle a une sœur. Now, if you had the correct answer, you can cl click space or number two. If you had the wrong answer, you click on one. And if you had the correct answer, you can click on three. Or you can just use the icons over here to click on them. Now, I had a correct, so I press space. Another sentence. Vous avez un téléphone portable. Vous avez un téléphone portable. Perfect. I did correct, so press spacebar again. Another sentence. And this is one card type. I'd like to show you another card type as Les well. Nous Elle a tu as Ils we see a French sentence. Elle a une soeur. And you need to know the English translation of it. So in this case, it's she has a sister. Elle a une soeur. If you knew this, you press space. If you didn't, you press the one or you click on again. Now this is another type where you see the French part, but you have to know what it is in English. Vous les nous elle tu. Now we see another card type. You see an English sentence, but you need to know the French translation. You need to know what something is in French. Um, so we have she has a sister, and as we know, elle a une sœur. Elle a une sœur. Perfect. Now this is another card type that you will see often. Vous a, les nous a, elle a, tu a. And this is the final card type. The same sentence, but now we have to spell it. Um, now we know that the answer is A, so we press the A. Let's see what happens. Elle a une sœur. Perfect. Elle a une sœur. Now we can see the A in English and A in French, of course. But the A over here is green because we had it correct, and you can see it over here in green as well. Press space button, and then we have another one. Imagine we had the wrong answer. Instead of a Z or a Z, we do an S. Vous avez un téléphone portable. Now you can see that the part you had wrong turns in red, and you can see the correct answer over here. And again, in green, you have the correct answer. So these are the four card types. Now, if you go to DEX, uh, you can exit out of it, and you can see now that we're again at the dashboard. See, we have still some cards due, and we have some new cards as well. Now, if you want to have a better overview of all the cards in the deck, you click on Browse. And then we click on French A1 Verbs Pro, and you can see we have 1,228 cards. Uh, now, these are all of them. Uh, I'll show you a bit on how to edit them. We go to Avoir again, just to have a good example. Uh, Elle a soif. You can see over here we have the part that we can edit. And if we do one, if we edit one card, all of them will be changed. So if I do one, two, three afterwards, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If I delete it, same part, same thing. Uh, if you go to preview, just to have an overview again. We see a blank with a French sentence. We need to conjugate it. That's the first type. Soif. The second card is we see a French sentence, but we have to know it in English. Elle a soif. The third card is we see it in English. We need to know it in French. Elle a soif. And the final part is you need to type it over here. But as we are in the preview mode, this is not visible for us. Now, please feel free to change things, edit, change, edit things into whatever you want. I added a tag here as well. French A1 Verbs Pro Important Irregular Verbs. You can enter it over here, or you can do another tag, for example, reflexive verbs or uh, ER verbs, whatever you want. Um, please feel free to change it, but it, I think this is a good tag. Uh, the final thing that I would like to just highlight is that if you go to this icon over here and click on Options, you can see this part of your order. Now, I have selected show new cards in a random order. Now, I did this because I think this is a better option for you to learn things. If you do show new cards in order added, what you will see is that the first cards tend, tend to be the je form and the last cards tend to be the one that use the il form, the il plural form. Um, so please do show new cards in random order. 
feel free to tweak some things over here but i think the main things especially as a beginner is this one the new cards per day and the review uh i would lower it to whatever you want uh increase it decrease it whatever you feel comfortable with however the most important part is that you actually do it now that was it for the overview uh, as I mentioned before, I will paste the link where you can get the deck in the comment section and in the description. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And I wish you all the best. Good luck and goodbye.